Hey guys, Devin here with Admiral Off-Road, and today we're going to be removing and replacing the front wheel and tire on this 2001 Yamaha WR250F. The process will be about the same on any dirt bike, so no matter what you have at home, you should be able to follow along, and the process should be the same. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is put the dirt bike on a center stand. I've already done this to remove the rear tire, but you want the dirt bike to be supported. With the dirt bike on a stand, the next thing we're going to do is remove our brake line guard. It should be two 10 millimeter bolts. In my case, I am already missing one. The next thing to do is to loosen the four pinch bolts that hold on the forks to the axle. The next step will be to remove the axle nut. In my case, it's going to be a 22 millimeter. With the axle nut removed, we can now take a piece of wood to make sure we don't mess up the threads and a hammer to push the axle out the other side. With the axle removed, the wheel should now come out. And just make sure you keep a track of any of these spacers. Okay, now that we've got everything taken apart, we can go ahead and get ready to put it back together. We're gonna go ahead and clean off and then re-grease the axle. Just a real thin layer, nothing crazy. Next, we're going to go ahead and reinstall our spacers and get everything lined up. It can be a little bit easier if you do remove the uh, brake caliber here. I decided to leave it on and it looks like I was able to get it lined up with that as well. With everything lined up, we can now install the axle shaft. The next thing we're going to do is reinstall and torque down the axle nut. With the front axle reinstalled, the next thing I'm going to want to do is lower the bike off of the stand and get everything to make sure it's aligned. Can you do this? And do that, all I'm going to do is compress the front suspension a couple of times while everything is still loose so it can still, so everything can move around just a little bit and line itself up. Now I'll go ahead and lift the bike back into the air one more time and tighten everything down. Torque specs for the axle nut is 46 foot-pounds and for the pinch bolts is 17.
in the last step is going to be to replace the brake line guard. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. We will be doing some more videos with the dirt bike as well as the Cherokee and the Silverado. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, consider subscribing. Thank you.